Hey everyone, it's Melissa with Yamware. I am a homeschooling mom of three kiddos. We are a secular, eclectic homeschooling family. I have a seven-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old. We are currently doing second grade, preschool, and tot school. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what was in our Timber Doodle Kit this year, for language arts specifically. Our Timber Doodle Kit, we start with an elite kit, and then we kind of go back from there, and we end up customizing our own second grade kit from Timber Doodle, which is what I love about Timber Doodle. I love the fact that we can customize our kits and only get the pieces that we need and also make sure that we're getting the right level for our children. So my daughter, for example, gets a grade up for her math and she gets a grade below for her language arts. We are almost caught up, so I did end up getting the grade level this time in my kit, but I had already gotten the grade level previously. So let me go ahead and show you what was a customized elite Timber Doodle kit this year for language arts for our second grade. This is the Word Fun book. This is about the eight parts of speech and how they put on a show. And it's a very fun book to help children learn the different parts of speech. So it goes ahead in here, like here. So this book does teach your child about the eight most important parts of speech that would be nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, pronouns, conjunctions, interjections, and prepositions. Timber Doodle does have this scheduled out in their scheduler for you. They suggest reading this in one part each in a way that would make it so you basically go through the book four times in a year. I do plan on just circulating this through our read alouds. So we will read this aloud on one of our read alouds and then I'll, buy, I'll circulate through it a few more times just to make sure she's understanding what is in this book. Timber Doodle does in the handbook provide a reading challenge for your child as well. They have a whole section with book suggestion lists. They have a light reader version that is one book a week. They have an avid reader that turns out, so if, if it was a 36 week school year, of course, it would be one book per week for the light reader. It would be two books per week for the avid reader, three books per week for the committed reader, and four books per week for the obsessed reader options. In the very back of the handbook, they do have book suggestions like back here they have history suggestion books and they have it all broke down like that there's tons of suggested books in the back we do get the non-religious timber doodle handbook or the religious handbook has different book suggestions than the non-religious handbook does throughout the handbook there is a a tracker for the books that they read they have it wrote down like fiction and um, around the world. Like they have a ton of ideas. And inside of each of those categories, they have book suggestions farther along in the book. At the very end of the book, they have an awards page for you to fill out for your child. So the book, book awards page is back here. And if you send a copy of that book awards page to Timber Doodle at the email address inside this handbook, they will credit your account with 50 timber doodle dollars. So there are 50 doodle dollar rewards, which comes out to about $2.50 in uh, money off of your next order. And then there is the Lost Trail. I think I've mentioned this to you before because we had planned on reading it this month. I have not got to this book yet. We ended up reading The Jade Dragon first. So we will be reading this as soon as we are done with I Survived 9-11 Attack books. We'll start this one. So this is the true story of the Lost Trail, Nine Days Alone in the Wilderness. I remember reading the full version of this book when I was about in middle school and public school. It's a great book. It talks about how a child got lost in the woods and how he survived. It is in comic book style and Timber Doodle does suggest that as soon as your child can read on their own, to go ahead and turn them loose and let them read it on their own. My daughter's not quite there yet. I'm hoping by the end of second grade, so the end of the school year, she'll be able to read this on her own. So I'm hoping to read it to her now, and then at the end of the year, assign it to her to read on her own. There is a note inside the handbook about this as well, about an imaginary monster in this book that does plague the child's mind, this child's mind in the story, and how it's a good idea to speak to your child about this and to determine whether or not you feel it's appropriate for your child to read in second grade. I talked about the six traits of daily writing pretty heavily in my last collaboration video about writing 
curriculums that we loved in um, a collaboration I just did last week with another homeschooling mom. I will link that above for you to take a look at if you're interested. But this is the daily six trait writing from Evan Moore. We actually rip out the pages as we go along in this. So I use this as a fully consumable book. It starts with like, so this is week five. It has day one, day two, day three, and day four and day five for the teachers. And then on the next page, it has day one through four of the worksheets for the child to fill out. And in that prior page, it has the kids' pages and how they need to be filled out so you know the answers for your child. I use this book as four days a week. I do not do the fifth day a week and I tend to do the writing for my child. Last few weeks we've been learning about topics and how it's important to make topics very specific. I am having her focus more on the learning of what she's writing versus actually handwriting it out. And that's just because it's still hard for her. I mean, their hands are still growing at this age and that much writing is very difficult when she's still processing how to form her letters as well as trying to process how to write a complete clear topic. So I just do the writing for her right now. And in the handbook, it does suggest that if you have a child that struggles with that fine motor skill or is finding it overwhelming to try to learn the writing from the fine motor, if it's overwhelming for them to go ahead and separate it out and allow the child to dictate their answers, which is what we choose to do in our homeschool. The next thing that I have is actually where I customized my kits. Second grade Timber Doodle Kit comes with Spelling You See. So the Spelling You See comes in their basic, their complete, and their elite kits. And I chose to switch it out for All About Spelling. We went ahead and got All About Spelling Level 2. We're currently using All About Spelling Level 1. But as soon as we are done with Level 1, we will switch to the Level 2 that I got with our kit here and it just goes through what to do with your child on each day. It's pretty straightforward, we enjoy it. It also comes with the cards for we're all about spelling. It also comes with this table, tags, and with stickers as well because every child loves stickers and there's a tracking progress report. I think I can find ours quick. So for her all about spelling, I actually copy the all about spelling worksheet so I can use it for all throwing my kids. But I do use this little B stickers that come with it, which my other kids won't be able to use, but it'll be fine. They have, this one has a tracking for the phonograms, but it also has a progress tracker for each lesson. So we are on lesson two, all about spelling level one. We just started it. So I'm not sure when we'll get to level two. But since I already had level one, I thought I might as well just get level two while I was getting the kit because it was cheaper to get now than to try to get it separately outside of a kit when we were ready for it. So when we ordered our kindergarten kit, I had originally gotten All About Spelling. Then I decided that I didn't want to use All About Spelling and I got Spelling UC. For our first grade kit, I got Spelling UC again. And then for second grade, I decided I definitely wanted to use All About Spelling. So we went back again. So that is why I'm on level one. The other thing that comes in the um, that came in order customized elite kit from Timberdoodle for second grade is the all about reading for the Timberdoodle all about reading. You can also get the happy cheetah or you can go up or down a level for all about reading for a replacement. Sorry, I had to check and see for sure. And Mazdas, you could go up to Mazdas if that's what you wanted to use instead. So we went ahead and got All About Reading level three. It comes in this box, which I'm going to struggle with a little bit, sorry. It comes with two readers and they are colored readers now. So I do love that. So this one's Chasing Henry, a collection of short stories and they are in color. And this one is Shipwreck. This one is in color as well. It comes with the student pack, which has the student level packet. It has the word cards, the activity book, the phonogram, syllable tags. It comes with the tiles, um, prefix tiles, suffix tiles, and the progress stickers as well. So it does come with the stickers for the thing for it as well. I do love Timber Doodle in the sense as where my kids 
as they get older, they do have, instead of having to buy the whole new kit, they do have additional student packets, which as each year changes, you'll have to make sure it actually still fits for your child, especially if you ordered, like say I ordered the second grade kit in 2022, and then my son doesn't come to second grade until 2026. It'll be a big difference in kits and I'll have to see what he'll need and what he doesn't need and what will fit and what won't fit. But for the most part, I think they still carry through the all about reading all the way through. Um, and math, you see, I think they've carried for a very long time as well. So those additional student packages they offer are very helpful in just replacing those consumable pieces in the kits. All About Reading also comes with the teacher's manual. So this one's the level three teacher's manual. And it goes ahead and tells you exactly how to teach your child reading, which I super appreciate because if I had to do this on my own with no guidance of here's what exactly to say, I would have no idea what I was doing. But those are all the items that came in our customized non-religious elite kit from Timber Doodle. If you have any questions about the items that I received or how we use them, please let me know in the comments below. I really love to help you guys out where I can and I also really appreciate if you guys have any ways you're using the kits or how you use your kits. I love hearing those ideas and sharing with you on how we each do things and it differently in our homeschool. As always, if you like these kind of videos, please go ahead and hit the like button so I know which videos you like and which ones you don't. And of course, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys next time.